Uh, can I welcome everyone to the third meeting in 2019 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. The first item is to propose the committee takes items 7 and 8 in private. Uh, these are consideration of our draft report on the South of Scotland Enterprise Bill and our quarterly report. Does the committee agree to that? Okay. Next item is consideration of an SSI laid under the European Union Withdrawal Act. This is the first SSI to be laid under this Act, and this extra step in its scrutiny is based on the uh, protocol recently agreed by the Parliament and the Scottish Government. It's the Draft Insolvency EU Exit Scotland Amendment Regulations 2019. The instruments have been laid, laid under the affirmative procedure, and it's been categorised as of low significance. Is the committee content that the appropriate uh, scrutiny procedure has been applied to the instrument? Okay. And is the committee content with the category assigned to this instrument? Right. Uh, next item of business is consideration of a document subject to approval, uh, and it's the draft Scottish Social Security Charter. No points have been raised on the document. Is the committee content with the document? Right, uh, item four, consideration of instruments subject to affirmative procedure. Uh, no points have been raised on these draft instruments. Uh, the Insolvency EU Exit Scotland Amendment Regulations, 2019. The Drug Driving Specified Limits Scotland Regulations, 2019. The Sheriff Court Simple Procedure Limits on Award of Expenses Amendment Order, 2019 and the Housing Scotland Act 2006 modification of the Repairing Standard Regulations 2019. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yes. All right. Uh, the next item of business is consideration of instruments subject to negative procedure. Uh, we've got the Environment, Food and Rural Affairs Miscellaneous Amendments and Revocations Scotland Regulations 2018 SSI 2018-391. And this instrument mainly updates references to a number of EU instruments referred to in domestic legislation and makes consequential repeals and revocations of primary and secondary legislation. Um, in Regulation 10-3, there's a reference to Schedule 4 of the Controlled Waste Regulations 1992 which should refer to Schedule 4 of the Rate Waste Management Licensing Scotland Regulations 2011. Also, certain provisions refer to certain EU legislation as, as last amended by subsequent EU legislation, but reference EU legislation which is not, in fact, the last amending EU legislation. Does the committee wish to draw the regulations to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground as they contain some drafting errors. Okay, and does the committee welcome the Scottish Government's commitment to bring forward amending legislation to correct the error in Regulation 10.3 at the earliest possible opportunity? Thank you. And does the committee wish to recommend that the references to EU legislation as amended should also be corrected? Thank you. Uh, and then we've got the Foods for Specific Groups Medical Foods Miscellaneous Amendments Scotland Regulations 2018 SSI uh, 2018 392. The main purpose of these regulations is to make some technical provisions for enforcement powers to underpin a Commission delegated regulation. Uh, that regulation lays down rules on the specified uh, compositional and information requirements for food for special medical purposes. The preamble to the instrument fails to follow proper drafting practice. The first paragraph uh, should have also cited the powers in section 2.2 and paragraph 1a of schedule 2 of the European Communities Act 1972. A paragraph explaining an ambulatory reference to the Commission delegated regulation has also been omitted. Uh, so does the committee wish to draw the regulation to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground as the preamble to the instrument fails to prop, uh, follow proper drafting practice in a couple of respects? Okay, thank you very much. 
Um, agenda item six uh, is consideration of the response to our uh, stage one report on the delegated powers provisions in the Age of Criminal Responsibility Bill, the Scotland Bill. Does the committee wish to note the response at this time and return to the bill after stage two? Okay, and I'll move the meeting into private session.